The tears I shed yesterday has become rain. For the tears I cried yesterday have become rain. I really like it because every time I cry, I practice it. The Buddhas that have been and the Buddhas that will be and the Buddhas that are here now all suffer. And it's okay to suffer. It's okay to embrace that suffering, but sooner or later transform it. What I'm doing is mixing up brown and blue to get a nice gray, like the gray sky outside. Rainy day is the best day for painting. I cried this morning already in the uh, chanting because it was very, it really moved me, touched my heart. It's very nice just to cry and to release. When I uh, think about that, um, I, I come originally from Vietnam and uh, our country went through a lot of war. I, I see uh, uh, so many tears from uh, the people of Vietnam. This particular retreat has allowed me to look deeply into sorrow and see how I've transformed it in the past and how I can continue to do that through my writing. Sneak here is a very healthy exercise because we bottle up a lot of uh, emotions, negative emotions that sometimes can uh, reflect in our, our sickness in, in our body and our mind. So having a chance to, to cry or to shed tears is very helpful. Uh, but we also want to do it in the context of having support, having a collective energy of uh, deep listening uh, to help us uh, heal. Because sometimes uh, by ourselves, it's not able to heal ourselves. Mm. Uh, we need a, a love and a compassion and support to other people to help you. And this is what we do here at Blue Cliff Monastery. We can transform our sorrows and our hardships into something beautiful and nourishing, such as the rain that allows the plants to grow, the flowers to bloom, makes our tea, and as Ty would say, turns into a cloud and then continues to nourish us again as rain. So sorrow can always become something beautiful when we transform it.